Have you ever wondered what information Bridget really needs to provide you with the best possible financial guidance? We all know she's a financial powerhouse, but what exactly does she need to know about you to tailor her advice to your specific situation? Imagine Bridget as a financial detective. She's on a mission to uncover the clues that will help her solve your financial mysteries. But just like any good detective, she needs the right information to crack the case. So, let's dive into the details. What exactly does Bridget need to know to become your financial Sherlock Holmes? Key information. Your financial goals. What do you want to achieve financially? Are you saving for a home, retirement, or a child's education? Knowing your goals will help Bridget prioritize your financial plan and recommend the best strategies. Example, I'm aiming to retire comfortably at 65 with a passive income of $5,000 per month. Your income. How much money do you earn? This includes your salary, wages, investments, and any other sources of income. Understanding your income will help Bridget assess your financial capacity and recommend appropriate savings and investment strategies. Example, I have a monthly salary of $3,000 and a side hustle that brings in an average of $500 per month. Your expenses. What are your monthly expenses? This includes rent, utilities, groceries, transportation, and any other recurring costs. Knowing your expenses will help Bridget identify areas where you can cut back and save more money. Example, my monthly expenses are approximately $2,500, including rent, utilities, and groceries. Your debts. Do you have any outstanding debts? If so, what are the amounts and interest rates? Understanding your debt situation will help Bridget recommend strategies for managing and paying off your debts. Example, I have a student loan balance of $25,000 with an interest rate of 4.5%. Your risk tolerance. How comfortable are you with risk when it comes to investing? Are you a conservative investor who prefers low-risk options, or are you more aggressive and willing to take on higher risks for potentially higher returns? Knowing your risk tolerance will help Bridget recommend investment strategies that align with your comfort level. Example, I'm moderately risk tolerant. I'm willing to take on some risks for the potential of higher returns, but I also want to protect my principal. Your financial knowledge. How comfortable are you with financial concepts and terminology? Understanding your level of financial knowledge will help Bridget tailor her explanations and advice to your understanding. Example, I'm a beginner when it comes to investing. I'm still learning about different financial products and strategies. Your financial habits. What are your spending habits? Do you tend to overspend or save regularly? Understanding your financial habits will help Bridget identify areas where you can improve your financial discipline. Example, I'm working on improving my budgeting skills. I've started tracking my expenses and setting aside a portion of my income for savings. By providing Bridget with this information, you're giving her the tools she needs to create a personalized financial plan that works for you. Remember, the more information you share, the better she can help you achieve your financial goals. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.